One of my favorite Hanukkah stories, I'd say probably my top two favorite, is Simon and the Bear, A Hanukkah Tale by Eric A. Kimmel, illustrated by Matthew Truman. I love this story. Simon and the Bear. When Simon set out for America, he promised his mother and brothers and sisters that he would work hard and save money. As soon as he could, he would send tickets for all of them. Simon's mother lovingly packed his knapsack for the journey. She put in hard-boiled eggs, salt herring, and two loaves of black bread, heavy as stones. Because Hanukkah was coming, she added something extra. I've packed a little menorah, a box of candles, matches, a dreidel, and plenty of latkes, she said, holding back her tears. Wherever you are, Simon, don't forget to celebrate Hanukkah and its miracles. Who knows, you may need a miracle on your long journey. Simon took the train to the seaport. There he managed to get the very last ticket for a ship bound for America. His bunk was in the hold with 300 other people packed together like herring in a barrel. When the ship sailed, the barrel began to roll. For days on end, the ship rolled one way, then another. There was little to eat, but no one felt like eating. Simon didn't mind the noise, the smell, or the rolling of the ship. Every roll brought him closer to America. One night, Simon felt the ship lurch. He heard sirens and people yelling, everyone on deck. Simon grabbed his knapsack and ran on deck with the others. A gigantic wall of ice loomed out of the sea. Its surface sparkled like diamonds in the moonlight. An iceberg, Simon heard the sailors shouting. The ship had struck this floating ice mountain. Now it was sinking. Simon stayed on deck, helping people into the lifeboats until only one boat remained. Simon climbed in. The sailors began lowering away. Don't go! Wait for me! shouted a man in a fur coat as he ran across the deck. No room! the sailors shouted at him. The boat is full. We'll sink if we take one more person. The man's face fell. He tossed his watch to Simon. If you get to New York, give this watch to my little boy. My name is on the back. Tell him Daddy loved him. The watch felt heavy in Simon's hand. This isn't right, he thought. That little boy will grow up without his father. I know what that feels like. Wait, he called to the sailors. Simon climbed out of the lifeboat. He returned the watch. Get in, mister. Your boy needs you more than he needs a watch. I'll stay here. You're very brave, the man said as he got into the boat. I'll never forget you. Simon stood alone on the deck as the lifeboat rowed away. The sinking ship groaned and its bow lifted into the air. Simon grabbed his knapsack and leaped from the rail just before the ship slipped below the dark water. Simon landed on the iceberg. He looked up at the moon and said, Now I am truly alone. I will die here. He thought sadly about his mother. Then he recalled her parting words. He straightened. Tonight is the first night of Hanukkah, a time of hope. I won't give up. I'll even light a candle. Who knows? A miracle may happen for me, just as one happened for the Maccabees long ago. Simon took out his menorah. He said the blessings and lit the shamash and the first candle. Then he spun his dreidel. Gimel is the winning letter, Simon murmured as he watched the dreidel spin. But I don't need Gimel. I need none. It stands for Ness, Miracle. Come on, dreidel, give me none. Give me a miracle. Simon spun his dreidel again and again. At last it fell on the letter none. By then, the candles had burned out. In the darkness, Simon heard a splash nearby. Then he made out a ghostly shape swimming toward him. It pulled itself onto the iceberg and shook all over. Simon found himself staring into the face of an enormous white bear. The dreidel dropped from his hand. The bear sniffed at it. Then she sniffed Simon's knapsack. Are you hungry, bear? Simon asked brightly, trying not to show his fear. Slowly and carefully, he opened his pack. Have I got a treat for you, he said. He handed a latke to the bear, who gobbled it down. Delicious, isn't it? Have some more, Simon cooed. Better to eat latkes than to eat me. After two more latkes, the bear was still hungry. So Simon gave her his black bread and herring. She didn't care for the hard-boiled eggs. Simon ate those himself. Then the bear lay down on the ice and went to sleep. 
A cold wind blew across the ocean, and Simon shivered. I wonder if the bear will let me get close to her, out of the wind. He crept over to the bear and snuggled against her fur. The bear growled in her sleep. She stretched her paw over Simon as if he were one of her cubs. Simon closed his eyes. He slept safe and warm that night. When Simon awoke the next morning, the bear was gone. He felt lonelier than ever. Will she come back? He wondered. For what seemed like hours, he stared out at the empty horizon. Then he saw something white bobbing in the waves. It was the bear swimming toward him. The bear climbed back on the ice. Simon saw that she had a fish in her mouth. She skinned it with her teeth, and then, to his surprise, she bit it in two and gave him half. Simon cut it up with his pocket knife and tried a piece. Not bad, he told the bear, a little salty, like lox. He and the bear ate the fish together. The bear went fishing again, and that night, when Simon lit the second Hanukkah candle, his stomach was full. Over the next few days, the bear swam off in the morning to fish and returned in the afternoon with her catch. Every night, Simon lit one more candle in the menorah. He shared his latkes and entertained the bear with Hanukkah songs and stories. Then they curled up together to go to sleep. This is truly a miracle, and not the only one, Simon said to himself. He counted the miracles on his fingers. He'd gotten the last ticket. He'd found a place in the lifeboat. He'd saved a man's life. He jumped on the iceberg, not in the ocean. The bear didn't eat him. She brought him food. She kept him warm. Seven miracles. Simon looked out across the sea. It will take another miracle for me to be rescued. Is one more too much to ask for? The last night of Hanukkah arrived. Simon lit the candles. As they burned out one by one, leaving him in utter darkness, he thought, I have no more candles, no more matches. Tonight we ate the last latka. My knapsack is empty. No bread, no eggs, no herring. Maybe the bear will swim away tomorrow. Then no fish. I will surely die of cold and hunger. Simon shivered as the moon rose over the cold sea. I have run out of miracles, he said. Suddenly, the bear stood up on her hind legs. She sniffed the air. Dropping down, she jumped into the ocean and swam away. Bear, where are you going? Don't leave me, Simon called after her. Immediately, he heard other voices. Ahoy, you on the ice, stay where you are. We're coming to rescue you. A passing ship had seen the light of his Hanukkah candles and sent a boat to investigate. Simon had his eighth miracle. He was saved. The ship brought Simon to New York. His story appeared in all the newspapers. Simon became a celebrity. The mayor gave him the key to the city. And the mayor was the man in the fur coat. You saved my life. The mayor told Simon, what can I do for you? Find me a job so I can bring my family to America? Simon asked. I will buy their tickets today, first class, the mayor promised. As for a job, I have one I think you'll enjoy. Just as the Hanukkah menorah has one extra candle, the Samash, so too did Simon receive one extra miracle. The mayor found him the perfect job as polar bear keeper at the Central Park Zoo, which goes to show that miracles aren't just for the Maccabees. Simon told his friends and family every year at Hanukkah time, they can happen to anyone, anywhere, even in the darkest of times. You just have to believe. The end. I love that story. I know I say that about a lot of stories, but I really mean it for this one. I really love this story. And it says here at the back, it has some more information about Hanukkah. And I won't read it all to you because I already read you some information about Hanukkah. This says, though, that the dreidel, a four-sided top, bears the letters Nun, Gimel, He, and Shin. These stand for the Hebrew phrase, Nes Gadol Hayasham, a great miracle happened there.